Yo, 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 what's going on guys? So this is video two in the Aiken course for module one. We're having a look at custom types in Aiken, which we're gonna use for our datums and redeemers in our validator. Let's get into it. All right, so in the last video, we set up our validator and we just kind of discarded everything and we kind of had a little plan of the rules for validation for this validator. Uh, so for custom types, basically, we don't want to just use datum or redeemer. We want to set the structure or the schema for that type. So we're going to need to create a custom type for both the datum and the redeemer that can handle the redeemer. In the redeemer's case, we're going to be able to handle delist and edit and buy. And in the datum's case, we're going to have the appropriate information stored at the UTXO so that we can apply validation to that transaction, that output. Okay, now there's a difference between datums and redeemers. Datums are stored at the transaction. So in our marketplace validator, when we list an NFT, we're gonna send it to the validator and we need to have a datum attached. That's where datums live. If we take a little look at the standard library and we go to our transaction, you can see here we've got our list of outputs. So let's just check out what an output looks like. And an output has an address, it has a value, like the ADA or the assets that are there. It has a datum and it has an optional reference script. Now the datum, this shows here that the datum is stored at a UTXO. So any information there is unique to that UTXO. So if we want to send our NFT as this value, then we need to attach our datum, which specifies two things. We need to specify that the um, the price of that NFT in ADA. and But we also need to let the validator know whose asset it is so that we can do things like edit and delist if we need to. Or if someone buys it, they know who to send the ADA to. So we're gonna put our pub key hash, which is our wallet credential for our wallet. And we're gonna attach that to the datum as well. Okay, so if we switch back to VS Code in our type, we're going to just write type market datum and we're going to have our price and our seller. Our price is going to be an integer and the seller is going to be a byte array, which is what Plutus calls strings, essentially. <laughs> so uh, we can now change our option datum from just an optional datum to a market datum. And then we can create our redeemer. So our type market redeemer, which redeemer is like a, a confusing term. I think action is better, like a better explanation because redeemers essentially act as information that you send to the validator so that the validator knows what logic to process. So what we're going to do in our market action is we're going to have these three different options, which are like three different validation paths, if you like. And we're going to call them M buy for market buy, M edit, where we need a price as well. And the last one is M delist. And now we can change the redeemer from a redeemer type to market action. And then we're basically done, set up. Now, how do we handle the different options for our redeemer, the different cases for our validation? Well, we do that by saying when R, our redeemer is, and then we open up some curly braces and we can put the different cases in here. So when the redeemer is M buy, we'll return true. When it's M edit, we'll return true. And when it's M delist, we'll also return true. We need to undiscard that redeemer now because we're using it in our validator. And if you remember, M edit needs a price as well for our update to update the price. We can then switch to our CLI and run Aiken check and you'll see we've got this error because it's saying that we're trying to use a private type. M da market datum is a private type. So what we need to do is we need to make those types public. Even though it's in our validator, Aiken, the Aiken CLI still doesn't like it. So we need to use this pub keyword to make it a public type so that it can be accessed by validators and potentially helper functions and tests as well. So what we're going to do is we're just going to select um, that market datum and the market price and we're going to make our first module. In our lib folder there's a course folder already. We're just going to create a new file called types.ak and in there we're going to copy our market datum and our market action and we're just going to prefix the type with this pub keyword and that's just going to make it public. So now they're public types. We can switch back to our marketplace and we can import that module with use course which is the name of that module slash types and we're going to import them explicitly so we're going to say open up our curly braces and put market datum and market action in there 
Okay, and then we can switch back to our CLI. We can run a can check and it says we don't know what m by is and that's because we also need to import the different cases for the redeemer individually so we'll switch back to our thing uh, so we'll switch back to our validator we'll add m by m edit and md list and then when we run a can check it'll just say we're not using price so discard it and it'll say that we also don't need to import datum and redeemer anymore so we can remove them from the imports Cool. So now we've got that set up. We've had a little bit of look at uh, we've had a little look at custom types and what the difference is between a datum and a redeemer. And in the next video, we're going to start looking at the logic for each of these cases, starting with D list because it's going to be the easiest. I'll see you then.